Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, and I'm excited that you're here with me today to debunk six Retin-A myths. Yes, that's right. I've been using Retin-A for about a year and a half, and the results have been absolutely phenomenal on my skin. And I'm going to link some of those videos below if you'd like to see some before and after pictures. But there are a lot of popular myths that everyone seems to believe about Retin-A that really aren't true. Now, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging, I hope you'll subscribe. And when you click that little bell that just notifies you of my future videos. I post videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Well, before we get into debunking those myths, I'd like to tell you a few things that are scientifically proven about Retin-A. The first is that it actually increases the amount of collagen in your skin, it firms your skin, it's scientifically proven to reduce wrinkles, and it helps with pigmentation. So it really just makes older skin look somewhat young again. Okay, let's get into debunking those myths. The first myth is that retinols are exactly like tretinoin or retin-A. And basically, the scientific studies have shown that it's retinoic acid that produces the positive changes in your skin, and tretinoin, which is the active ingredient in retin-A, is already retinoic acid, so nothing needs to be done. So when you're using retin-A, you're putting retinoic acid directly on your skin, and it's actually producing those positive changes. But when you use retinols, they're milder, and they don't produce as much irritation perhaps, but those retinols must first be converted to retinoic acid. They use an enzyme in your body to do this, and there is no scientific proof that the vitamin A that's in those retinols actually does get converted successfully into the retinoic acid. So if you really want the positive changes, go right to the source, use tretinoin. Now myth number two is that Retin-A thins your skin. And actually, that could not be further from the truth. And it's kind of easy to see why this myth is believed, because when you use Retin-A, sometimes you can get a lot of peeling as your skin becomes drier with the Retin-A use. And it appears that it thins the top layer of skin. And actually, it does thin the top couple of layers of your skin. But deep within the dermis, the Retin-A is actually thickening your skin, because the collagen is rebuilding your skin from the inside out. That's why the wrinkles get smoothed out, because the skin underneath becomes thicker and the wrinkles smooth out. Now the third myth with Retin-A is that you should avoid the eye area. And this is a very popularly held myth. And I'll put a link below to Dr. Brett Kotlis who dispels this myth. Dr. Kotlis is a dual trained plastic surgeon on Madison Avenue in New York. He's trained in oculo and general plastic surgery, so that does specialize in the eyes. And he says that since the under eye area and even the eyelids are subject to such great wrinkling, that Retin-A is actually wonderful at de-wrinkling these areas. And he he does say that you can use Retin-A in the under eye area and also on the eyelids, but that it can be irritating and so some people can't tolerate it. It's important not to get it directly into the eyes, but he says you can go up just underneath the border of the under eye area and then you can use it on the upper lids and that it does thin out that crepey, wrinkly eyelid skin. And here is a look at my results using Retin-A on my eyelids. And I used just the tiniest amount through using Retin-A. I think I used it about 10 months in the second picture. As you can see, using Retin-A on my eyelids has really decreased the amount of wrinkling and decreased the amount of hooding on that eye. I have used the 0.05% strength of Retin-A on my eyelids just a little bit on each eyelid every single night for the past year and a half. And although once in a while my eyelids feel a little dry and once in a while they do peel a little bit, I've had no problems. But this is an individual decision. Discuss this sort of use with your dermatologist. And if you get irritated, please discontinue use. Now myth number four is that you can only use Retin-A at night on dry skin. And I will say I have never adhered to this and I've always had good results with Retin-A. And that is the popular belief that you should apply your moisturizer and then wait 20 minutes before you use the Retin-A to give your skin a chance to dry out. The situation with using Retin-A on dry skin is that it won't penetrate as deeply. And so if you have sensitive skin, you might want to apply Retin-A only on dry skin. My skin is pretty tough and thick, and so I go ahead and apply all my serums at night and then follow it immediately with the Retin-A right on my wet, serum-covered skin, and it works very well. The fifth myth is that you shouldn't apply Retin-A with a vitamin C product. And for many, many months, I believed that myth, and I would apply my Retin-A at night and my vitamin C in the morning. It is an antioxidant that helps the skin deal with the free radical damage from the sun. But recent studies have shown that actually using the Retin-A with the vitamin C actually helps the Retin-A work better. And the reason people believe these two did not function well together is that to remain stable, the vitamin C had to be a higher acid content. 
but several studies recently have shown that the higher acid content of vitamin C has no effect on the Retin-A, and the studies found that using these two together actually made the Retin-A penetrate and become more effective. And myth number six is that you'll see results to Retin-A use within as little as a month, and that couldn't be further from the truth. The study showed that it actually takes 12 weeks to begin seeing results, and that the results stabilize and you get your optimal result at about the one year period. And the references for all these Retin-A myths are listed below the video. Now, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in making your second half your best half in body, mind, and spirit, I hope you subscribe and click that little bell to be notified of my future videos. All right, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and today is no exception. These are the Power Thoughts cards by Louise Hay. Let's see what Power Thought we can think about for today. Okay. Wow, I now create a wonderful new job. I now create a wonderful new job. I guess if you need one, that's helpful. I am totally open and receptive to a wonderful new position. Using my creative talents and abilities, working for and with people I love, in a wonderful location, and earning good money. Well, at first I didn't think this applied to me, but come to think of it, a year and a half ago when I came to YouTube, I created myself a wonderful new job, or at least a very rewarding hobby that's helping make my second half my best half, and I hope your second half is wonderful too. Take care. See you next time.